Hello everybody. In Los Angeles, we don't get a lot of cold weather, but one of the best things about being locked up in the house is that the weather in LA has actually been cold, it's been raining. Tomorrow's gonna be, I believe, the last cold day for a while. So I'm going to cook something that's savory. It's something that you probably your mom or your grandma made. I'm gonna make a pot roast. Nice little ground chuck roast, which I've never been good at. <laughs> I always like either overcooked it or undercooked it. I didn't know like what the secret was to have it like fall apart and have all those all those goodies in it. So I'm gonna attempt it again today with a few things I have around the house. And we're just gonna see how this goes. First thing is you need your onions and I'm gonna do some carrots that we have here. I'm gonna add in a couple potatoes, and some garlic, salt, pepper. Because once all of it's done, just throw it in the oven on 275. Um, just let it sit there while you go watch Netflix. Oh my God. All right, so I've already watched this, peeled it. Somebody DM'd me and said that I made them really nervous with my knife skills. I didn't go to culinary school. This is so you can watch along, laugh at me. You're welcome. So I got my little onions like that. I'm gonna do some fresh garlic that I peeled. I love garlic, Josh loves garlic. Chop those up. When I was in high school, in college, I would do like um, shocker theater. They call me Missy when I'm strutting with the limpy wristy. Woo! I know. <laughs> one of the times I was one of the only cast members that did the full like month or whatever. And so I heard like this, I don't know if it's urban legend or who told me, maybe it was my agent at the time, that if you were to eat fresh garlic like this on toast with lots of butter, that it boosts your immune system and that you would never get sick. Every time I start to feel sick, this is what I do, among a few other things, and knocks it right out of me. Take your carrots, and you cut them into two inch cubes. All right, potatoes. I have no idea how I'm gonna cut them. I wonder how my mom used to do this. She never wrote down a recipe though. She didn't leave me with any of the nuggets of information. Easy, breezy. Beautiful cover girl. Okay, I put a couple tablespoons of olive oil in the skillet, pot, Dutch oven, whatever you call it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, you just wanna brown these. For all those stay-at-home dads and moms that cook dinner every night, it's a lot of work. Yes! I'm just gonna place it over here on a plate. In the same skillet, you're gonna add your carrots now for about a minute. When this quarantine's over, does anybody want to come over and cook with me? All right, so I'm just gonna do a little salt and pepper on the roast. Yes. Now I'm gonna try something that I haven't done. Don't throw any shade. So some of the garlic that I chopped up, I'm gonna like shove in, into the roast. All right. So carrots are out, the onions are out, the oven is preheated, and we have some guests. Hi! Oh. No, 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 that's for the... Oh. You don't get the good? Put a little rosemary in there. No, I'm already gonna put rosemary when I cook it. And mm. this one. All right. Now I'm gonna brown the potatoes. So once you come on. I may have left my phone in Tracy's house. Uh-oh, what does that mean? That means I need you to call to make sure it's not in the car, which probably it is. Well, that's just gonna have to wait a second, isn't it? Because I'm in the middle of something. Look at how beautiful this is, come on. It is beautiful. Oh, look how pretty. Now the fun part. We're gonna sear this for a minute on all sides. Mm -hmm. Bam! Now, back on the flame. Two cups of the beef broth. Then we're gonna do a cup of red wine. That in there, and then a, a cup for the chef. And I'm taking a whisk as I deglaze. I'm gonna get all of that good stuff that's stuck to the bottom of the skin on the side from browning on the vegetables. I'm going to put chuck first back in. Put in the vegetables. Okay, now it goes in the oven. Cover it with a lid. It's almost three pounds, so I'm gonna put it in for like three hours. And I close. literally don't have to check it. It's going to come out amazing. Okay, we'll be back. 
Okay. How many glasses of wine has it been? Uh, we're on number... Tonight's selection of red wine, can you see? The YouTubers, I think they put hands behind things. I don't think that does anything. Chateau Saint-Michel. Chateau Saint-Michel? Oui. Yeah, that's an original name. Oof. It's gonna taste so good. Excuse me. Mm. Yes, it's already peeling apart. Look, it's already coming apart. I like that. Woo! See? It's like Sunday roast. Ooh, daddy! Daddy? Do I look like So, essentially, you pour the wine now. You like give the fork to your significant other, not in their neck, but on their plate. Personally, I prefer stabbing him with a knife. <laughs> Oh my, I just came <laughs> home from a long day of work. Oh wow, carrots and steak. Ooh, that looks good. Mmm, delicious. I was really tapping into some serious acting skills there. All right, so I'm gonna make my plate now. Let me know what you think. I mean, we're friends now, right? Try it, let me know. Next time, who knows what we're gonna make. It's gonna be 80 degrees, so maybe <laughs> <laughs> he burnt his mouth. 80 degrees out, maybe we'll make something summer related and healthy. Mm, Bye, good. everyone.